Savvy That Sim right here, and I just want to go over a little bit of a sneak peek from one of our Sim Gurus, which is Sim Guru Nova. I um, definitely follow them on Twitter if you aren't already. But basically, what they did is they went ahead and shared a few sneak peeks of the world. So let's go ahead and go through those really quick. So you have this kind of like beachy, um, coastal feel, like a boardwalk section, which I mean, nothing too special in this sneak peek, but it's cute nonetheless. And then over here, you do have a lighthouse, which is really cute. And then you have the bridge in the background. I still don't know what this world is actually based off of. I think it looks like Charleston, South Carolina, as well as San Francisco. I guess maybe they'll confirm that to us once it's actually out. And then we do have this really beautiful screenshot. I love this one right here um, where you can see the lighthouse. I guess there's two lighthouses in this pack. And then you have the humongous bridge right here and then some boats as well. I'm curious to know if these boats are functional. I do know in the cats and dogs expansion pack, you do have in Brittleton Bay, you have like a little dock like this, which to be honest with you, this reminds me of um, Burlington Bay a lot, but you can actually go on one of the boats and travel to the lighthouse, but it's just a rabbit hole. So you'll just like click on the boat and then it'll take you um, to the lighthouse. It doesn't show like anything like that. So it's not like Animal Crossing where you can actually ride on the boat. <laughs> and then over here, we do have a movie theater sneak peek. I really like the layout of this building. It's really cute. I'm trying to not say cute so much but whatever and then i did want to mention this right here i thought this was neat how there's like a little splash park advertisement right here i like that detail which is nice and then you do have this really pretty bridge in the background as well we do have another screenshot from this point of view and again this looks just like brittleton bay to me just with some different color variations of the dock which there's nothing wrong with that that it does look like brittleton bay but it's just kind of very similar to it and then you have a nighttime screenshot so i'm wondering if this is a building you can go to i'm assuming so this is probably another restaurant or bar that you can go to and this kind of reminds me of family that's in the gameplay trailer that we have so I wonder if that's their house and where they live or maybe this one right here. I don't know. They're both like big blue suburban. So who the heck knows? I'm sure Delegacy or Little Simsies probably um, built those. They're still really good. So getting into the game play trailer, I do want to go over that with you guys really quick. I'm sure most of you have seen it. Some of you may have not, um, but this is the game play trailer right here. I'm not going to play the audio just in case some of it is copyrighted. But as you can see here, um, the grandparent is visiting and they go over basically family dynamics in this trailer and they go over milestones, which is cool, but it doesn't really feel like a true gameplay trailer. And I think that's what most people were a little disappointed about. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was disappointed too. But I'm also not going to get too disappointed because maybe they're just saving really exciting things um, for another trailer or the live stream that's happening, I believe, on March 1st or March 2nd. Um, but this is really cool right here. So I believe that this part right here is part of the family dynamic feature that's going to be coming in the pack. So you have, you select like, you know, your wife or your husband. Maybe you can do sister, brother. I hope there's some other family members in here, like, you know, maybe aunts, uncles, cousins, that kind of thing, and potentially maybe girlfriends and boyfriends or partners, whatever you like to go by. And then you can click down here and click close. And they show that they both like painting right here. They both like maybe hot tubs. I don't know what that's supposed to be but maybe just being close together milestones right there of getting married their baby being together as a family I'm assuming and then right here the grandparent does meet their grandchild for the first time which is really special but right here it does show that these two don't get along um, because they have different likes and dislikes now I'm also curious too if that's gonna affect the already existing townies that we have in the game so are they going to be added with their own likes and dislikes or are we gonna have to go and fix that for them I would really like to know also this right here I do want to stop the video and I do want to show you guys this I noticed that there was a lot of new like moles and like beauty marks in the first trailer that we had when it dropped but as you can see right here this is definitely new this is 110 percent new these are stretch marks so I definitely think we're going to be getting that in the game I don't know if it's going to be added to the game as in you know if your sim games gains weight and then maybe loses weight they get stretch marks or if it's just only going to be in CAS, which is create a sim i'm hoping that it's both i think that would be really cool um but i'm sure some people may want them and may not but i think that'll also be really neat too for uh pregnancies and storytelling with that this guy looks like they're like potentially friends and maybe the guy from so if you look at the previous one he is bald here has glasses in the next scene so I'm assuming like they're friends and maybe that's maybe his boss because the next scene it shows that he has lost his job so yeah that's obviously a milestone I do want to backtrack it right here a lot of people are talking about this on Twitter too that it looks like the bridge is higher in this 
room that he's in so to them it kind of reminds them of like an apartment kind of feel um so they're assuming that we are getting apartments with this um expansion pack and i'm really hoping that we do to be honest with you and i'm also thinking too that maybe why we don't have any like super deep in-depth sneak peeks in this game play trailer is because they're actually wanting to release more information the closer that it gets so i do want to mention too i did notice right here this photo so in the beginning of the trailer it does show um this is supposed to be celeste's dad in the beginning of the trailer like this is her father and then it does show them together when they were younger as a couple having celeste um but right there, it looks like there's a photo of her, and she is um, elderly, so I'm thinking maybe she might have passed away, which is really sad. Um, but anyways, so I do want to mention that. I think we might be getting apartments with this EP. I hope we are. So the only current expansion packs we have, or worlds, I should say, that we have with apartments in them is our stay in my shuno which is city living and it comes with you know obviously a bunch of apartments and then eco lifestyle evergreen harbor did come with apartments as well but those are only two worlds that have them so i hope they are adding apartments and they're just keeping it from us and it's going to be like a big surprise when the ep comes out so that's what i'm assuming i could be completely wrong but i'm really hoping i'm right <laughs> so that's something definitely to be excited for and something to look forward to so I want to backtrack this really quick. So this part's really cool. So so this has been confirmed. You can click brother or sister. And there is a family dynamic in here. So you can choose close, distant, difficult jokesters. Once again, I think that's super sweet. I like that. Again, though, I don't know if that's something we have to create in CAS. And, you know, we have to do it ourselves. Or if it's going to be created with certain like, storylines. Or it develops over time with sentiments. I, I hope that's the case. But, you know... Just keep your expectations low so we don't get disappointed by anything. Also, I'm really excited for that changing table. It's so cute. And bath time. So these are the milestones for the children or infants, I should say. Let me backtrack so we can see that again. All right. So you have a diaper. I don't know why that's a milestone for the child. I keep saying child. <laughs> the milestone for the infant. Yeah. And then bath time is also another one. We also have rolling over, which is super cute. I love that. And then crawling. Maybe like first food or like trying different types of foods. God, look at the low poly of that cereal. That is sad. Okay. Anyways, moving on. We're going to be a little positive. We're going to be positive. <laughs> and then looks like you know standing up for the first time so that's so sweet look look grandpa's in the back with his little camera capturing the moment that is really precious but yeah guys um i don't really know what to think about this too too much i will say this to me does not feel like a game play trailer whatsoever it's just basically covering and confirming and showing us the already confirmed features that are coming into the pack um but other than that i am i am excited i am don't get me wrong i'm very excited for this expansion pack however i just want to see more actual gameplay is what i have to say but i love these animations that we're seeing they're really really sweet and i think they're gonna have a lot of depth and add a lot to our game I will say too, I hope these suitcases right here, as you can see this grandpa has, I hope that the suitcases are functional. It does look like it might be in a way, I mean, because he is carrying it, so that is some type of, um, you know, functionality where he can carry it, so that is really cool, but it would be nice if we could put them in our inventories and actually put stuff in the suitcase and then pull it out kind of like how we have the tents in the game where you can pull out the tents and put it anywhere in the world. That would be really neat. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. This video isn't going to be too long, just a little discussion video. But I did want to hear what you guys think. Are you still excited? What are your thoughts? What are you most excited for with coming with the new pack? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm really, really excited to hear from you all. And just a little reminder, I am giving away one free expansion pack once we hit 1,000 subscribers on my channel. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and comment below. I love hearing from you guys. I love making new simmer friends. It's so much fun and I love talking about new hints and new fun things that comes with The Sims. So I hope you guys all have a great day and have an amazing weekend. Love you guys. Bye.